Here we're given this contingency table, or two-way table, that contains information about 130 FCC students, broken down by gender and by whether they're right-handed or left-handed. We randomly select one person from this group, and we ask what's the probability that our randomly selected student is female or left-handed. So we're looking for the probability that they're female or left-handed. And again, an or probability is the sum of the individual probabilities minus the overlap. Again, we have to worry about subtracting off the overlap in this case because these are not mutually exclusive. In other words, our randomly selected student could both be female and left-handed. We're randomly selecting from a group of 130 students, so that's going to be the denominator on each of these pieces. The number of ways to select a female student is 71, because there are 58 right-handed female students, 13 left-handed female students, for a total of 71 female students. The number of ways to select a left-handed student would be 25, since there are 13 female left-handers and 12 male right-handers. And again, the total number of people that we're selecting from is 130. The probability that our selected student is female and left-handed is 13, because there are 13 students in that category, 13 students that meet that description, and 130 total students. So we add up 71 plus 25, which is 96, subtract off 13, which is 83. So our final answer is 83 out of 130. And if we write that as a decimal, that's approximately 0.638. We could also think about this by adding up all the students that meet this description. So female or left-handed. Well, the female students, we add these categories up. And then the left-handed students are this column. But we've already counted these first 13. So if we just add on these extra 12, we'll add up all the students that are either female or left-handed. And notice if you add up 58 plus 13 plus 12, you get to 83 as well. The only category that isn't counted is the right-handed males, the only ones who don't fit this description of either female or left-handed. So again, multiple ways to get to the correct answer.